Yeah, I, I dug it. The students really enjoyed it, I think. Um, but it was fun to it was fun to try. So if you haven't used Moodle and you know, to do stuff like this, it, it's worth investing some time in um, because it's a, a very interesting and, and, and playful. Um, um, so they watched the ones uh, ahead of time for the scene painting ones and then came in and then I was able to help them whenever they needed help. Seeing them pick up on the learning objectives and cooperate, it, it's amazing when they say it in their own words that, oh, this has really helped my critical thinking, this has really helped my Spanish. They were able to go back and watch them again. So this was not just a once and done that they were able to go back and watch them again. And it gave me a chance to sort of polish my um, my presentation of the stuff. Four year, uh, we used different tools in, in Moodle. Oh, I, I actually came to enjoy it. So yeah, it, it worked really, really well. They turned out pretty great, and I'm really happy with the way they ended up. My project was doing um, breakout EDU, but virtual breakout EDU with my student. Where you are locked in a room and you have puzzles that you have to solve working together with the other people that are in your group or in the room with you and to in order to break out of the room. And it's all in the target language, so it's all in Spanish. And students have to work with each other, so it's collaboration, creating community in the classroom, uh, using the target language, and also critical thinking skills to be able to solve the clues and uh, open each lock. It was really nice to see how they were working together, responding to their peers, and the conversations that were being had in class then moved online. And so that was nice to see, that community in the classroom go into a uh, virtual space. The project made me very nervous, but there's sometimes I think like the phrase, do what scares you is frequently in my head and this project scared me as Susan knows well, um, but it's, those moments where you do what scares you and you're showing students, I'm not in my comfort zone, but we're gonna learn and we're gonna try something new and we're gonna try to have fun.